are you, my friend? Hello? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, I actually called you like a month ago. All right. And I, right. I told you like I want, I want to stay anonymous. And I was, I'm an ex-Muslim. All right. And right. uh, we were discussing on like uh, Jesus is like, he's, he was really peaceful towards his enemies. Like he said, love your enemies. Hmm. And you, hmm. you told me like it was beyond peace. But actually I was contemplating those Ooh. things. Uh, uh, what would happen uh, to those people uh, who won't follow the teachings of Jesus? When we say when we say Jesus love, he said love your enemy. Uh, the yeah. love, the love always have a limit, which mean uh, I love you, but you don't want me to love you. So then you deserve what will happen to you after. So uh, when right. we say when uh, let me explain to you, my friend. When when okay. when we say that God he love us it doesn't mean that God. He uh, he will not punish us. It doesn't mean that God okay. he will not uh, give us what we deserve. So God he can forgive you based on His love, not because based on you are good. This is why we say there is a forgiveness. So you commit sin against God, you do all kind of crazy stuff you do, and then you ask God for repentance and God forgive you. That is love. Then there is a time where there's no forgiveness is going to be given to anyone because now. You'll be given your time and you refuse to accept forgiveness as a choice of your own. So then there's a there's a penalty, and the penalty will be harsh. So if you are saying to me, those who don't believe what will happen to them, I say to you, they will go to hell as simple as that. Now, is sending people to hell is love? No, absolutely. It's not love, it's a penalty, it's an anger, it's a harsh punishment, but it's a justice. Um, but but if if a person doesn't uh, like is like I like like myself I don't I don't believe in Christianity but I I do good things like I don't I don't want to do bad things. But friend, I, this, this friend, is the only let, thing. Let, let, let me tell you. Let me. This okay. is this is your own logic. You can say, oh, this is not fair, right? Yeah, because yeah. okay, uh, I am a person who don't believe in Christianity, but I'm not going around killing people, right? I'm not going around etc. Yeah. But all of us we commit sin. You see, like you know, maybe you think yourselves you are so good to be to be to be punished, but the fact is none of us is good. Are you saying to me you never commit sin? You don't commit sin? Are you saying that? No, no, no. That, okay. I, no, so, no, no. I, so I the point is here is not only about harming people; it's about harming the gift of God which He given to us. Me as a Christian, I have a body, and this body is given to me from God. So I have responsibility to bring it back to Him clean as I re receive it. I receive it when I was a child. A body okay. of being pure. So when you bring that body back to God. Because he will take it from you one day when your life will be taken to you and your body is yeah. full of cracks full of sin full of garbage then it's like you know let us say you know okay you 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 borrow something and you want to bring it back to me you lease a car and then they say okay here there's a scratch and here there's etc and now we want to charge you you say please try don't charge me because i did not really you know i wasn't a bad person at least i did not destroy yeah, yeah. the car but still you did yeah, you, know, you know this is not your car to I, destroy it anyway so this is the point. The point is, justice is that God, he gave you life and give you his, your body. And then you did okay. not provide him back what he gave you as a return. He did not say to you, okay. go and live and be sinner. He said to you, go and live as holy. And you chose to disobey. I, I, get, I, get, I get the point. I get what the point you get. I give a really good example, but that works only for the humans because humans are capable of not forgiving one another. But he's God. He's like beyond of infinite possibilities. He could forgive his, like his creation. Mm. When we say humans, like you use an example of like, like if I, if I use a car and if I scratch it and I give back to them and they will be like displeased with this thing, so they won't accept it because they, they are humans, and they have they some will forgive us because we are humans. We may, we are filled with anger. We are filled with jealous, mm. hatred, but the God is not filled with those things. Okay. So God is beyond something else because if he can't that when we say like God is love is greater than every mother out in the in, in the earth. So how come the God doesn't forgive us if I don't follow his teachings? Did you hear did, this, you, did you hear a prayer the Christian they have the saying it's called our father out of heaven? Uh, no. This prayer they asked Jesus how to pray. Jesus he said to them, You pray like this, our father who art in heaven, and then you have to say in the prayer forgive to us the same we forgive to others so the god of the christians he made it clear 
that in order to be a person who earn forgiveness you have to forgive to others so he forgive you if mm -hmm. you forgive and here you will see that what you said to me is not right because you just said that the God he should be more forgiveness or more forgiven actually the God our God himself he made it a condition that we will not be in his heaven unless we forgive so we ourselves is required to forgive before we can receive his forgiveness even we should forgive the one even the one who will not go to heaven so in order to receive forgiveness you have to forgive to others what they did to you now here I, you said I to me, hold on, let me continue please okay. you said okay, to me okay. that god he should be more forgiven my friend he is already more forgiven because look he made a condition that if you want to go to my heaven you have to forgive to others so i can forgive you so the process of salvation is forgiveness even for the christian themselves they cannot be forgiven unless they forgive how much forgiveness you want from this which means because now you are forgiven twice if you repent to god you made sin against two against a man or a human or a woman or a child and you made a sin against god so god he is making us forgive you for sin you did against us and then by doing that we earn the right to be forgiven which means god he forgave two sinners in the same time by doing that now he said to you i want to forgive you and i love you but you said to you to him i don't want to believe in you leave me alone but yet <laughs> now you are asking him to give to forgive you even after you insulted him and you said to him i don't want you do you think this is fair no 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 that's that's not fair that way yeah, yeah. Okay. that's not but but is it i want to come from this thing um is this uh, somewhere written in the bible because i'm not sure about this like god loves you unconditionally unconditionally is this written in yes, some way? Conditionally, does, the, 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 what does it mean? Yeah, you go and you 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 kill and you rape and you lie and you sin and you yeah. sleep around or you wish women they are not yours. The con uh, unconditionally here that I am going to do my best to help you. I'm not putting condition mm -hmm. on you, but you have to accept me at least. So imagine I have a firefighter. He come to my house. He knock at the door. He say, "Hey, Christian Prince." Your house is in fire. You have to leave the house right now, and we are going to help you to stop the fire unconditionally. I will charge you nothing. Or what we need to do? Give me your hand to save you. You say to him, "No, go, go, go. Sorry, I don't want to leave my house. I am here happy. I don't believe in you, and you can do nothing to me." And then your house okay. catching fire, and you don't want him to help you. So why, why you are crying for being in the fire when you are the one who said, "I don't care." Yeah, yeah. I get, I get, I get that. Uh, actually, I, I want to have. A, I, I remember one thing on this point, and actually, it was asked to Zach and I, and he didn't answer the question. It was asked from an atheist. I think it's a really good question. I'm gonna ask you the same thing. You know, when God didn't create this universe, doesn't uh, doesn't even the time didn't exist. Nothing existed ever. So even before he, he even thought about this creation. He knew some of his followers, I mean, I mean, some of humans won't follow him. He could have saved them in the beginning, but he still chose to go with this creation. And he knew in the future that some of the people will commit sin, will commit crime, but he still wanted to do it that way. Why did he go it that way? Like he, he knew in the beginning, like some of his uh, people will end up in the hell. He could have saved them in the beginning. My friend, so, in Islam, yeah, in Islam. First of all, the Muslims. It don't was actually it was actually Islam from Islamic perspective. They didn't give any answer. Yeah, I want to hear in, it from a Christian. In in, in, a in, in Islam, there is no free will. This is number one, and you actually okay. you are created to go to hell before even you are made. You know, in Christianity, we don't have that. Jesus said, "Not everyone okay. says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do His will." Which means, you choose to do His will or your will. But if you do your will, you are responsible for what will happen, the consequence, and that is fair, right? If I okay. if I go now, let us say, uh, me and you, we are we are family, you know. Let us say, uh, uh, with my respect to you, I don't mean to insult. I am your father. No, no, no. And and okay. I say to you, I uh, uh, if you if you if you trust me in my decision to do this, that's better for you. You say to me, no, I don't want your will. I want my will. I have different choices and then you go you invest your money or you do something and you lost 
Now, is that my responsibility or your responsibility? And that's 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 why. Okay, so this is exactly. But in Islam, we don't have that. In Islam, it's not about in Islam. God not only He knew the future. In Islam, God He wrote the futures before you are created to be to go to hell or to heaven. In Christianity, you always yeah. have a choice to be or not to be. You want to be with God or without God. So there is even people who say to Jesus, Lord, Lord, yet they will not go to heaven. Why? Because at the end of the day, they do, do not do the, the Lord will. They do their own. So by lips, they worship him, but by act, they do against him. So okay. if we go in the Quran, as an example, if I ask you now, According to Islam, a baby child should he go to heaven or to hell? What do you think? And it's a kind of confusing question because we don't know. He he hasn't committed sin. He has committed any kind of so what not sin do? or he could be. So what is the logic you think? Yeah, it's kind of confusing. I mean, uh, should go to heaven. <laughs> I, don't right? know. I don't know. No, he should go to heaven because the point. Yeah, of, because he's innocent. Yeah, he's right? innocent. Yeah? But for that reason, the, he should go to heaven. The point, yeah. the point of hell and heaven is you committing sin, correct? Yeah. Okay, now a child who never commits sin still in Islam, he might go to hell. When Aisha attend the funeral with her husband, and the child, he is a child of a Muslim family, and Aisha, she said, This child will be a bird from the birds of paradise. Muhammad, he said to her, For adventure, Aisha, it might be the other way. Uh, because Allah created those who they are in hell to hell when they mm -hmm. are in the backbone of their father. And he created so those is, who would go to heaven when they are in the backbone of their father. So it doesn't matter you go to you do sin or not. Okay, it's uh, okay. It's predestined. Okay, yeah. it's written in the beginning. So yeah. the Muslim they believe in the predestiny in a way that you don't even have a choice. You see, it's not you uh, who make a choice to be or not to be. It's what Allah He wrote for you. In Christianity, you have a choice. Yes, and by the way, in Christianity, we believe in something. It's called predestiny, but this is in special cases. Like you know, God He chose me. I can say maybe God He chose me to do what I'm doing now. But this is not yeah. about He forcing me. He chose me. He say, you know, like there's a there's a special relationship between me and Him. I have a passion to serve Him. So, but somehow I am chosen to be serving God. But doesn't make me I'm doing something against my will. I choose. I agree with the will of God because God he said to us you know go and teach go and teach okay so God he gave us an order but I can say I don't want to teach correct yeah I am okay so he told me go and teach he will go this is the order go and teach and preach okay I say okay I'm going to go and teach okay this is mean I choose his will and I am just doing his will but you will notice here that my will is in total agreement with his will because I have the right to say no, I'm going to go and watch a movie. Yeah. All right. You are so, in the, you are in the channel. Yeah. So in, in Christianity, we cannot compare between Christianity and Islam for very I simple reason. Point. In Christianity, always you are the person who choose, you know. Uh, and you know, mm -hmm. about forgiveness, you remind me of Jesus when he was on the cross. He says, Forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. What do you want they to do? Yeah. Imagine. You are putting nails in my hands, putting nails on my feet, putting me in the cross, I'm bleeding and making fun of me. And then I say, forgive them. They do not know what they are. How, how much forgiveness a human being can take, but still they want to abuse God. And then they ask, okay, what kind of God is God? He is, you know, he says you have a free will, but if I don't agree with him, he will send me to hell. Yeah. But this is your choice. Yeah, yeah, this is up to me, yeah. my choice. Yeah, yeah I, I thank, thank, thank. I get, I get some convincing reply. I, in the end, I want to have this another question because, uh, yeah, I didn't get the point of this. Like you had this Old Testament, and there was a New Testament. What is this about this Old Testament? Uh, the Old I, Testament, I get, the Old Testament what is, is, is a book. Okay. Is a book of history, a book of history, and a book of okay. uh, of, of God in the same time. Which means people they went through many things in history. And this book contains a lot of historian uh, or, or history stories about what happened to those people. So when God speak, God is talking. When man he talk, man is talking. You know, we as a Christian, we don't believe that when we say when we say the Bible is the book of God, does not mean that every word there is written by God. You know what I mean? No. We believe, okay, like, yeah. okay, even in the Quran, I mean, but most of them they refuse that because most of them they are like solid like rocks when it's come to to uh, uh, think. So. When shaitan in the Quran yeah, yeah. says that shaitan said, is shaitan talking? The Muslim they say no, Allah. <laughs> I mean, why? Because, <laughs> because this is Quran, right? But this is stupid of yeah, you to yeah. say this is Quran saying. 
but just because for them they confirm that every word there is the word of Allah that's mean even when shaitan is speaking it's Allah talking well thank you very much for us we don't believe in that when God he say he say when a man he say he say like as an example a man he come to Jesus and he asked him for something that is not God talking that's the man yeah, yes, that's a man. That's, yes, that's it's one. written in the Bible. Yes, this is we consider it as the book of God, but this is the man is speaking, and this is what he said. When God so speaks, the old testament uh, of man speaking, yeah, it's, it's only of history. It's what related only history. Uh, I mean, you said uh, the man talking, not Jesus, like in the Bible. Yeah, was it in the old testament? Or it's it's also in the new, in the new. It doesn't Testament. matter where, like you know, when when the when, yeah, it, it, when the book of Genesis speak about God speaking to Adam, Adam he speak. That's Adam speaking. Okay, okay, ah, uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. But okay. we say we say the book of Genesis is a is a worldly God, but this is not doesn't mean that Adam when he spoke he was God. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. 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 Right. In some time, in in some way in Quran it mentions we, which doesn't mean like. God is a unification. We like that, and that's like also confusing in Quran. Well, the the we thing in the Quran is madness because simply you ask the Muslim why Allah he say we. They say because Allah he speak about himself as majestic, like kings. But that's mean Allah he he is lowering himself here, making himself yeah. look like king by using we. Is that how you make yourself majestic by we? If you are the God of the <laughs> universe, I mean, what we would do to you? That's silly, you know. The king, yeah. the kings because they, they 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 like to show off you know we are kings we showed our authority so we say yeah, we. Yeah. okay we got that but you are God I mean who is going who is going to be in competition with you nobody so what we for you know we if kings yeah. if kings they bow down to you and why you want to say we what that will make of you like we you know we is like we are many and you are a few okay so we so it's a, it's a sign of intimidation. I will intimidate you by saying we. We are coming after you, you know. And you say, oh, oh, mm -hmm. it's not one; it's many. We, you know. Same, uh, we, yeah. Yeah. Same time, the 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 Quran when he speak about we or I, you will notice the Quran sometimes say it is he. Okay. Well, it is he or it is we. Sometimes you say I. Uh, it's mentioned there. Yeah, he sometimes. Yeah. Why? Why? If 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 only it fit for Allah to be called we, why then he says it is he. So, if if we is the way to speak about Allah, Allah should not use He, because obviously it must be insulting. It's not fit for for Allah to say yeah. He. So and 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 you notice here in the Quran, uh, when the Quran is speak uh, uh, supposedly uh, Allah is talking, you will see that always speaking about someone else. Okay. Yeah. When you say it is He and you are He. I mean, how silly is that? Yeah, so it's a contradiction like he and we. What does it really mean then? Yeah, what what difference will make? You know, what the, what difference is going to make when you say? Sometimes, yeah, somewhere it's it's, it's written like he and it's like we. So what does it define? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a, a, a madness. Yeah, so my friend, after leaving Islam, and you know, you said to me, "Did you leave Islam on air, or because you you have nothing to do with my videos?" I forgot because no, many people they call I, me I to talk to me. Okay. Okay. How you left Islam? You left Islam because of my videos, or just a decision you made? No, no, I I left like it. It was like three years ago. I guess right. four years ago. Okay. Maybe I I was watching like uh, many videos like mistakes of Zach and Nike, but I did not. I just realized that Islam was false. I was watching David with his video when he mentioned these verses, like a lot of things, hmm. and I got confused. And slowly, I I first started believing, believing like they are like misinterpreting the things. Like the Christians online, they want they want to show a bad side of Islam, but the scholar didn't came with a good answer. I, I I went to the imams and they said the same thing. Yes, some somewhere somewhere saying the truth, and somewhere not. And Later on, I, re I realized it was a fake religion because mostly in the chapter nine, like it's the most violent religion, like killing people, fight Jews and Christians. And this was completely wrong. And that backbone thing, like in the chapter 86, like the Siemens is like in, in the backbone, like that thing. And it was totally absurd. And slowly, I, eventually, I decided to leave Islam. All right. That's how, how it happened. Like, for me. I just read the Quran. I just read the Quran. Hmm. I think that if people start reading Quran, I think they will leave Islam or they will do jihad if someone believes. It is my opinion. I think so. If people decide to read Quran, or, or either they will leave Islam or they will do jihad. Right. I, think. I agree with you, actually. 
um, my friend, I, I take the opportunity that you call me and I invite you to accept the message. I, I actually get very bad when, when I talk to you. I like uh, I like listening to your debates. And I have a bit of a request. When you try to show people like these Sahih al-Bukhari verses like Sunan Abu Dawood, these, any kind of these, any Quranic verses, please provide the chapter number also because I note down, I jot down those things. Well, you because know, I, actually I always provide, but people, they want me what? I mean, Sometimes you don't, yes. Yeah, so. No, I do. Actually, it's very easy to find whatever I'm showing on the screen. Like right now, let us say I did not show you the hadith number. You can type four words in the same website and you will get the hadith. Very simple. So what, is, in, what is the name of the website? Uh, Sunnah.com. You can type in Google because it still is going to show you the same. You see, Google, this is how it works. If you put five, five words from anywhere, you know, yeah. it's going to show you where it's coming from. Very simple. Okay, it's from Sunnah. So you can you can free, you can freeze the video anytime, even if it doesn't show. Freeze the video, go in Google, open okay. a, a page in the side, uh, type uh, a few words exactly the same, and you will get the same. Yeah, yeah, it will Pretty show simple. up that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very easy. I, you know, I get it. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your time. I mean, my friend, I, I get before, really before you go, time. before you go, I want to okay. invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. What do you say? I cannot take that like I'm still learning about the Christianity. Right. No, I, I don't have a book. I live in an Islamic like it's like a bit You do not need Islamic to have a book, my friend. You, like, can, you can read from the internet. You can download the Bible from the internet. You can read online. Um, I, I, I'm really I'm really thankful for that because I actually try to understand every religion out there. Like first was my my own religion. And I have not understood anything about Christianity, but I'm trying to understand bit by bit because you know, it, in you in your like it uh, recent debate, you actually well, we are talking about the heaven of the Christianity, and you said you are free of the needs. I mean, that was a really good concept. According to, I mean, if you see the Muslim Islamic way of heaven, they have this 72 horse concept, but your heaven has the free will concept. You are free of the needs. Yeah, this that is the best see, thing. even some Christian, I, I have by the way, book. some Christian they read the same verses from the Bible, but they don't understand it very well because they are not deep in reading. So, for me, when I read something Jesus said. I come right away to the conclusion that he is saying to me, you will be freed of your needs. That's why he says you, he and she, they won't get married. They will be the same as angels. We will not be angels, but the same. What is the same? What is similarity? Angels don't sleep, don't uh, uh, eat, uh, they don't have sex. They're going to one, married, one, they're going to one thing. Yeah. I, I remember. I remember one thing. Yeah, you, you see, like people want to do. Is I don't know. Like, what? What is? Is it like the reward that people want to do good because only because of the reward, just of heaven? They think if we do good deeds, we will be, be we will be rewarded. The heaven, is it the good? It is only for the reward. They do good things. No, you see, in Christianity, this is not the reason to go to heaven. It's not about the reward. The, oh. our, our reward, first of all, to be with the Lord Himself, and it's about love. It's not about there's not. This is why there's no, no physical. There's not. No, there's no physical uh, re reward. So uh, uh, that here telling you that Christianity goes above the 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 materialistic uh, belief. You know, material. So it's more of a spirituality, more of a high value, not about I will mm. give you God. Like when Muhammad, he says you will be 10 times more rich than any king. This is silly. Yeah, he used to I give mean, these like the yeah. reward kind of concept. Yeah, yeah, so people what, used to do work for him. Yeah, what I would do with the money in a place everything supposed is free there. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a silly. I mean, it's a, imagine you say to me, I'm going to send you to live in a city. Everything there mm. is a free, including cars, houses, whatever you want to buy, just take it, okay? And then you say to me, I will give you a lot of money. Who, who, but nobody take money there. This is stupid, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> so so the, the you will notice that when we, we listen to Christ's teaching, you will see how deep, how amazing, how beautiful the thoughts and the wisdom. And when we speak, listen to Muhammad speaking, he speak about penis. Your penis will not sleep. And your, your, your woman, her, her ass will be one mile. And her vagina fit for that. And Allah will give you the power of 100 men. And I mean, what is that? Mm, yeah, a lot, a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> These... but this is a language. This is a language fit for a person who is naive and he is into lost, into temptation. And for me, this is mm. satanic, you know, because this is how Satan he tried <coughs> to take me down. You know, Satan he tried to take us down by tempting us by things which we you know by nature we like. You know, we like sex, we like money, we like power, uh, yeah, we, we, we like authority. Thing. You know, yeah, lostness. You see, Jesus in the Bible, he did wash the feet of his followers. <coughs> if you if you step for a second and you say to yourself, okay, we have a person who is teaching his followers that he is God on earth. And 
he is going to wash the feet of his followers and then when his followers they said we don't accept you you know uh, 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 to do that I mean this is not really this you're our Lord you know yeah and he said if you don't let me do that you don't belong to me here you will notice no. something that the Messiah he have totally different value and totally different uh, uh, approach for what mankind should be is about should be about you as a yeah. you as a Lord you are a Lord by serving not by being served in yeah. Islam, but he was opposite. serving his father you see yeah, yeah he is serving you want to be you want to be <laughs> uh, you, you want to follow me in order to be a follower you have to be a servant you, if you want to be a master you have to be a servant uh, does does the uh, Bible have some science related kind of things like scientific things in Bible like they claim in the Quran that like we know these things all, happen in the Quran yeah, well, all, the, in, all the Quran in the Bible. Is, a, is a joke I, I have a book you know yeah it, it's actually it. a copy it is yeah. from somewhere else is it yeah. right yeah but from my friend feet. my friend in the Bible yes but we who care about science because for me I don't really believe uh, I, I, maybe you will not understand me a little bit let me explain to you science, okay, I was right science is a random practice is not really science let me explain to you they discover that antibiotic can fight <laughs> a disease correct okay okay but they did not really make antibiotic it's there it's just discovered by by a mistake actually according to what the story says it was a mistake <clears throat> uh, you know they have a fruit which is a, a, a uh, some grow in it and they notice that this is this is what called antibiotic and come fight the flu and etc and this is how they discover antibiotic but they did not make antibiotic and then now science is uh, science for me is is uh, learning language language of what language of nature around us so try to understand what is around us and we try to use what is around us as an example electricity did okay. science create electricity no Electricity is always exists in everything in the trees in our body in the water and everything everything have electricity What we have we have a discovery that mm -hmm. we learn about it before we do not know about it You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it because so we did not we, make we it really. yeah, we learn, yeah, we, we learn the mechanism of electricity and now we can even make it happen to generate more so science is not really uh, what some people think it's about discovering things around us and using what is around us but until now science is very weak and cannot provide uh, us with creating uh, a human being from nothing can this no, if, you, if you see from a science perspective yeah. like um because if you, when you, science is based upon facts and uh, religion is based upon a belief because you simply have to believe it that's that's a thing like a uh, separate yeah, but there's there simple facts i agree with you like you know if somebody want to say to me the earth is a flat and then oh, we, we have it in pictures saying the earth is a flat that would be stupid right but but this is just a discovery mm -hmm. of what is uh, what is around us is not really I don't see it as a science and so so for me as a Christian when the Bible says that Jesus was born without a father that is not science that um, according to science this is false yeah according to science it's okay. like impossible so now science says so and the Bible says something <laughs> else which one I will take for me as a believer I will take because we believe in something called miracle yeah. miracle is something no science can explain and actually until now there's many things happen in, in the field of medication or medicine etc like somebody uh, a doctor he go on TV and he says this guy his recovery it was a miracle we can't we don't understand how he was able to suffer yeah I, I, I remember we talked the same thing on the yeah. last uh, yeah so recently. it's a miracle <laughs> why we call it miracle because we cannot comprehend so there is things against science there was there, there was nature. actually this thing yeah I, I told you that when you said we cannot comprehend this thing how he got saved like miracles you know I I'm trying to understand this thing uh, when you said like God did it because there was no explanation for this miracle to happen as you even last time said uh, you have you were in an accident in a car accident and the uh, metal of that car didn't even touch your body so it was like a miracle like you saved from a death and you told me and you said to me uh, how could that have been possible I mean wasn't it Jesus like it was something miraculous even science can explain this but I think you are when you try to say this God did it you are actually solving a mystery with a mystery because uh, if uh, God was real I mean according to science God is not real because we are not seeing God we just have to believe that he exists I mean if, if I use my own logic like 
if if there is uh, like a museum in Germany, <clears throat> and I I I I say you there there is a man inside that museum, but you don't know. You have never seen the man inside the museum. You just have to believe it. Like it exists there. So will you believe me at that time? Like yeah, that way, if, us, if I for us as a Christian, we, yeah. it doesn't go this way because God He came to us as a person. Oh. His name is Jesus. So we saw God. The Bible says that God He humbled Himself so He come in the image of a man in the flesh of a man so we saw god and god came to us and god is not a mystery no more god humbled himself because, and because, he came uh, because to you, us. Are, you are you are you all followers saw him performing those miracles you were not there i mean you have not seen jesus in uh this is the kind of okay okay hold on i did not see jesus yeah. in the time he, he came but doesn't mean that yeah. jesus did not came right secondly i witnessed to jesus every day because me myself I changed, you know, if Jesus is not true, I will not be me today. If Jesus is not the person who is exist, me, myself, I will not be here. I will be watching my TV, putting my feet over my couch, drinking some tea and enjoying my life instead of shouting and screaming with people and people would give me nothing except headache and death threat. So the Christ, you know, you remember you said if you read the Quran, one of two things will, will happen either you became a Muslim or you do jihad you start yeah. killing people right okay yeah, yeah. so look what yeah, happened it's... that's means shaitan is exist because shaitan he convinced you to kill people in order to go to his place that's mean God is exist too I read I read my Bible I became not a person who want to kill people a, a, a person who is peaceful and he loved people to the point he want to give his time his life to save as many as he can Muslim they threat me they want to call me you can imagine how many death threat I get every day Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. If you are in my place, you will be terrified. You will say to yourself, "Why I want to do this? I mean, this is really horrible." Yeah. Uh, sometimes I get uh, into I, debates with I my know, friends to end that. I know people then even I they don't even want to talk to me. Even they are Christian, they don't even want to talk to me. They want me. They don't want me to go even to go their house because they are afraid. Because I'm a Christian prince. You know, I remember once uh, 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 a, a Christian family, they were watching TV, and then. I, I spoke in the TV and the guy he said is this this is your voice you know I said yeah this mm -hmm. is me the second he noticed that it is me the whole face of the family changed and then I <laughs> left and since then they never said hello to me you know they never said yeah. hello to me you know because they are because they are scared so what we do is extremely tough extremely harsh but yet if not Jesus who is making me do that I will not do it I I been I, I me myself I changed I, I used to be a person who look for a fight if I walk in the street if I see two people fighting I jump in the fight even I do not know who's fighting so I believe that God is true and he changed our life and he make it he make he make our life better and always you know if you want to seek to know where is God is he will he will present himself to you but you know, this is why Jesus said knock at my knock at the door and I will open for you but the problem is I don't know if you saw a comedy show where a bunch of people they come to the elevator and there, there was a woman mm -hmm. there and then the guy came after and he stand next to her waiting for the elevator and then the third guy came and the fourth guy came and the fifth guy came and the sixth guy and now became a 20 waiting for the elevator to come and the elevator is not moving but nobody asked the first person if then if, if, if she pushed the bomb of the elevator she is not going upstairs she is waiting for somebody to come down so she did not push the bomb <laughs> And now everybody assumed that the first one he pushed the bomb. So you want the elevator to come to you, but you don't want to even to push the bomb. Uh, okay, okay. Give me a give me a suggestion. Like, how should I uh, study the Bible? Like, it it just ha it has this book Genesis, like uh, other chapter Genesis. Friend, how should I start? Read about, I mean, if you want to read about the history, yeah, I want to understand the Christianity. Yeah, yeah. The, the history. Yeah. This is you go from the book of Genesis, and and the book of Genesis, by the way, like when the book of Genesis speak about how God created the earth. Uh, there is some they say or oh, this is literally word by word I believe not because if God want to speak about how he created the whole earth literally he will give us thousands of books because imagine if we want to speak about how the eye function there is like maybe a thousand book to speak about it right I mean mm -hmm. to, to finish to be a doctor just to to be specialized in the eye alone you have to study tons of books so That's when he, when God he can speak about the creation of the universe he's trying to make it simple for us that I am the creator I am the one who created everything this is how it happened so the the the, the books uh, uh, in the Old Testament teaching you about God the establishment his existence 
and then the history mm -hmm. if you want to read about let us say okay. uh, uh, something will, will be let us say more practical for you today I believe it is in the gospel in the four gospels because Jesus he came to the earth you see the Old Testament it was to prepare for Jesus to come and now the Messiah he so, came so for me so it wasn't the Old Testament prophesies of Jesus no problem yes it is but this is what I'm saying so the Old Testament okay. prophesy about Jesus but Jesus came so now yeah. the Old Testament for me is enlightening about Jesus but if I want to learn about Jesus I better read Jesus so I uh, Jesus he came mm -hmm. to me and he spoke to me by himself and he gave me amazing wisdom so if you want to want if you want to read the stories which is will help you with your life story you will find you, you can do it right now you open any page in any uh, any of the four Gospels you will see that that story fit with you amazingly after 2,000 no, years I will, a book try written, I will try my best to understand this, yeah, yeah you can open any page just try it and let us see if the page fit with you you see even a, this is how amazing is the teaching of, of Christ is he came 2,000 years ago and now we are in the age of app and smartphones and you know what I mean I mean it should not should not fit that book should be old should be like it's not not qualified even to teach me about how to live today but you will notice that this book will be qualified to be taught to you today and tomorrow and after a thousand of years from now it doesn't matter how much technology you have for you will notice that he speak to you personally in every statement in the book so it's not just a you know a speech of wisdom which doesn't doesn't make any difference for you you will you will notice something unique that it is talking about you you will find something on you about you in that yeah. story and this is why I love reading reading what Jesus he said I find always that he is speaking to me even though as you said I never met him but yet he is talking to me always you decide you, you know you, you yourself if you want to read just to you know just to read I mean reading will not make any difference for a human being but if you read to go in depth and to learn and to to uh, to have a benefit from it and then you will see that the Bible is speaking to you okay what 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 about those people like uh, some that don't, like, don't include me in this I know a lot of people like who, who, who were born as an atheist like some were born an atheist but uh, they never read like any kind of religion not the Christianity leave the Islam take a like some don't even re read Christianity but they have they decide by themselves like what is right and what is wrong I mean, yeah, religion, as I said you know there's you know, always your this decision. Me, no like, problem no problem me, my friend I understand your point but uh, as we said you know if God said to yeah, me yeah, any yeah, other way like, if you read Bible it will help you a lot uh, to face a lot of problems in your real life and you will see a better perspective towards life uh, like you mentioned me like this way yeah there's a comfort like, there's a comfort there's a confidence and there is even even health issues you know even even according to science those who have a belief they can can fight uh, illness a lot better than yeah, those I have who heard have about belief. Okay. yeah but in here you will see that even the messiah he give us amazing uh, medicine uh, as an example the the uh, the prior i said to you our our father out of heaven when you forgive sin you forgive what people did against you even according to science that those who forgive they live they live happy because simply the hate is not in their heart no more a person who live with hate he die with hate and he, he will never enjoy his life so even if you want to live happy Christ help you to be happier you know the real meaning of happiness will be coming through him now an atheist he don't want to follow Jesus and you are saying to me well he is he decide to decide what is right what's wrong okay as we said before everybody will take responsibility for his decision so if there's God and you choose your own way then God will punish you for choosing a way which is not his way the free will is not absolute which means you have a free will you don't want to follow me but this is the only way to save you you say to me your way is better okay take responsibility for your way as simple as that so an atheist he think he is doing the right thing okay good luck I get it. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I will try to understand. I will try to understand the scriptures. And if I find problems somewhere, and then I will call you. All right, my friend. Okay, Thank you I very found, much for. I will come back.
thanks thanks for that bye bye okay bye bye <coughs> hello 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 uh, hold on I, re i restart my skype so he will not hear hello me. yes my friend go ahead oh hi how are you i'm fine yeah uh my question is uh, is about tawhid all right okay uh the thing is you know when you talk to muslims they like to say oh allah is tawhid 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 but the thing is um what is the exact meaning of tawhid because i know what they they say it means but i mean uh in the quran how is it like tawhid like represented Well, Tawheed, my friend, is a word meaning unification. And mm -hmm. Muslims, obviously, by choosing the word Tawheed, they choose a word uh, totally the opposite from what they try to claim. Because the Muslims, they say, when you say Tawheed, you are speaking about unifying, right? Uh, 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 sorry, uh, oneness of God. Yeah. But the Tawheed does not mean that. Tawheed is a word meaning unifying, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you go in the dictionary today, they will say to you Tawheed mean because they are they are copying what the Muslims mean by uh, Monotheism, but the fact if we go down we will see we will see that this is about unifying Something is not about uh, One God it's about unity mm -hmm. You see uniform so unity you see unity so always it's come as unity you unite things together if allah is one you don't do unification yes but so if tawhid means like unity so it's salah with whom it's what so if tawhid means unification so tawhid, so allah is with tawhid with whom yeah but this is why i say that the word tawhid is a wrong word to present islam as the muslims they try to claim that they believe in one god Mm -hmm. So they choose the wrong word. Tawheed so is, Tawheed who's the other fit, person then? Yeah, Tawheed fit better with the with the with, the, uh, with somebody. Maybe he's a Christian. He speaks about the Christian, Trinity, exactly. you know. Yes, but yes. not does not fit with Islam. But because they are ignorant in their language, they ignorant about the religion. They choose Tawheed, and I say Tawheed means we you know, we 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 believe in one God. But the fact unification, the word Tawheed is coming from Echad. In the Bible, it says that the man will leave his family, and he will be one with his wife. Mm -hmm. And this is what Muhammad said in the Quran. This is Echad. Say Allah is Echad. But Echad does not mean one. Yeah, it doesn't mean that. You know, Echad, if you type the word Ahad in the whole Quran, you will find all the translation. They translate the word Ahad as the word mean one of. Here we go as an example. Any, any, any verse, a challenge to any Muslim. Chapter 2, verse 102. Chapter 2, verse 136. Uh, chapter 2 verse 285 uh, chapter 375 it's all over i mean all over look look how many i can show you uh, hundreds of verses uh, speaking about the word ahad and always the word ahad as an example this is one short chapter 4 verse number 152 this is the word ahad in the front of us in the screen oh you, know, you, can, uh, you don't see the screen guys okay, yes I, i see it uh no i don't okay now you see it sorry for that okay chapter 4 verse 152 it says وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَلَمْ يُفَرِّقُوا بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ You see أحد? Okay, this is أحد. Mm -hmm. This is the same verse the Muslims say, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٍ Say Allah in chapter of Al-Ikhlas. Say that Allah is أحد. Okay, but أحد cannot be a word mean one. It mean one of. Click at the translation. And you will see it says, one. any of them. Do you see how they translate the word أحد? Wow. Any of them. So, One, he must be one of others in order to be a God, any of them. And that, you know, here you will find Muhammad he, uh, is very confused uh, using the Jewish word without knowing what this is mean. He thought this is mean the oneness. And then Muhammad, again, he copies someone who is one of his writers uh, where he said, uh, blessed be Allah, the best of the creators. And then Muhammad, he liked the sentence. He said to him, write it there. And the guy, he decided to leave Islam when he heard Muhammad saying that because he said to him, I am the one who said that, not you. He said to him, this is how I say it's given to me too. So Muhammad in the Quran, as an example, in chapter 23, verse 14, uh, uh, he said, uh, and this is appearing in more than one verse in the Quran, he said, blessed be to Allah, the one, he is the best of the creators. 
but hold on if Allah is one God and he is the only creators so how he is the best of the creators exactly the Muslim they try now to give you their own uh, fiction uh, explanation that you know if you create a table if you create a chair <laughs> I mean how oh, hold on hold on you Allah is saying to me he is better than me in creating chairs <laughs> What are you talking about? What does have to do with it? the creation? Creation in the mean of religion is about giving life. Exactly. It's not about making a table. You know, uh, uh, Jesus said, "I create for you from the from the mud. I make a form of a human being, or sorry, a form of an, a bird, and I breathe through it into it, and I make it a living bird. That is a creation." Yeah. Jesus did not make a mud and that became a status and that is a creation of a status. That's false. So creation always in Islam is about you giving life to something. This is why the Quran says that how you worship somebody, you don't even know how he, he cannot even uh, uh, create for you a fly. So what the Quran is saying as, as a standard, that if you want to worship somebody, at least worship somebody, he create a fly in chapter 22, verse number 73. Oh man, oh man, here is a parable set forth. Listen to it. Those on whom beside Allah you call not creating even a fly. So what Allah here is saying, supposedly, mm -hmm. if they can create a fly, okay, worship them. Yeah. But if they cannot create a fly, and even a fly, if it stole the food from them, they can't get it back. All right, which is good. So here you are saying to me, if you can create a fly, and the, the reason you mentioned a fly because it's a small, supposedly, yeah. which means a fly and above. So yeah. you can't even create a fly, so he chose something very small. Okay, Jesus, he created the bird. <laughs> so now you are saying to me, if they can create a fly, worship them. Yeah. And then you say to me that the Muslim, they say that Allah, he gave the power to Jesus. He gave him permission uh, to create, but this, that will not change the fact matter. that he's a creator. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I am the one who created. It's not. He did not pray to Allah, and Allah He says, "Okay, I will create for you. I, I will do your request." No, I. The the Quran says, "I will create for you," by the permission of Allah. That won't change anything. You know. The, but, here we go. I am here get, getting Allah busted every day. Can you say to me that this is by the, <laughs> the by the permission of Allah? Uh no. <laughs> but you know what's funny is you know in the book of Isaiah, God says like He will not share His glory with anyone. And they're like saying, oh, Allah said, oh, Jesus, you can create a bird, but it's like shame is glory. So that's pretty like, Allah cannot be God. That's just stupid, you know? Yeah. A Muslim, he says to me, uh, I don't know if he's a Muslim, he says, where in the Quran? Um, tell us where in the Quran, uh, had, uh, in the Hadith, it says that Allah is the only creator. Yeah, for sure, we can show you. You know, the Quran confirmed that Allah is the only creator, which means this is a, uh, this is a contradiction. Mm -hmm. uh, for for what uh, what Muhammad he said in different place, uh, if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. There's many verses actually. Uh, in chapter two, verse number twenty nine, it says, "It is He who created for you everything in earth and heaven." That's it. So how He is the best of the creators? It is He who created for you that all in earth, and then He finished the the heaven. So is he uh, the only creator? Obviously, the Quran saying that. But then in the different verses, he is the best of the creators. Yes. And that does not make sense because if there is no other creator and you say, I am the best of the creators, that's when you are lying. Exactly. All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. Oh, but CP, CP, yes. CP. I have another question for you. Uh, I was listening to a live you did uh, like a few months ago, and you said like Allah doesn't remember what he created first. It always was the tree. Or the stars. Uh, what verse are you referring to? Well, you know, like here we go in the front of us, chapter two, verse number twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. Speaking that Allah, He created everything in earth, right? Yes. Okay, and then we go to chapter forty-one. We will see the different story. And if we go to chapter seventy-nine, we see the different story. So He don't remember clearly. You know, uh, if we go as an example. In chapter forty-one. Uh, verse number 11 you can read it from verse number uh, uh, 9 you know where it says that he created everything in earth and then he created uh, uh, he said the mountain standing firms in the top of it so here now he created the mountains first etc right and yeah. then after that he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke right mm -hmm. okay 
Now we go to different verse. We will find in different verse Muhammad is saying the following. Yeah, the smoke and he said to it and to the earth. Okay, read this verse with me. Chapter mm -hmm. chapter 79. And here you will see. Uh we go and read from verse number 27. You can read 10 verses before, so Muslim will not say I'm taking things out of contact, you know. You know, you know them. Are you the harder to create or is the heaven that he built? Then he continued. So he started what with the heaven? He mm -hmm. raised raised it high above and he ordained it. And then he made the dark night therefore and brought forth the morn, which means he created the day and the night. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he spread the earth. And then after that, he uh, 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 produced their form water and pasture, therefore. And then after that, he made uh, uh, the hills. And then after that, he provided the cattle. Mm -hmm. All right. But if we go to the other verse, it says the opposite. It says that the heaven was the last to finish. He finished all the earth first. Mm. Okay, he created the earth in two days. This is chapter 41. And yes. then he put everything in four days in the top of the earth. He placed the mountains and he did now the cattle. So the cattle was uh, a process number uh, two in four days, right? Yes. When the cattle is created, this is the number two process. If we go to the other verse, you will see that the cattle was at the end. First of all, he created the day, he created the, the heaven, then yes. he created the day and the night, and he, yeah. he left up the sky, created the day and the night, number three. And then after that, he spread the earth, he made the flat. And then after that, <laughs> he he, uh, uh, he he brought the, wa uh, the, the water from the ground. And after that, he made the hills. And after that, he made the cattle. Okay? Yeah. If we go back, look. Now he is in after he made the mountains after he created the earth he made the mountains and the pastures and the grass and the animals and then then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke and then he completed as seven ferment in two days and what mm -hmm. he do what he did in that then he now he created this the stars and then he created the lamps which mean the stars until now the, the sun does not exist and this is total contradiction of the verse again and, and the other one. So which Thanks. one? Thanks. You know what I mean? Yes. And not only that, Muhammad, he cannot stop from doing poopoo as usual. If we go to Muhammad, he says, read with me carefully. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you see the screen? Uh, it's, it's late, but yeah. Okay. It says Allah the exalted the glorious uh, created the clay on Saturday and he created the mountains on Sunday and he created the trees on Monday and he created the things in tiring labor on Tuesday and created the light in Wednesday and he caused the animals to spread Thursday and he created Adam on Friday afternoon. Yeah, now, I see. see. Yes. Now here Muhammad he confirmed that he's a false prophet. Why? Do you notice how many days now we have? uh it's eight eight, eight, days. eight, eight days. days yeah but the quran says that allah created everything in six days in six days yeah so who is the stupid here it's a seven days actually and here is in the you know he start with the he start with saturday he start with saturday and he end with the friday that is a complete week so muhammad yes. here again is doing poopoo yes you know the verse yeah. in the Quran, one verse says Allah he created everything in six days and one chapter says uh, seven so uh, uh, you know so uh, or six the Muslim, they try to find a solution. They say, oh, the four days are included in the two days exam. That doesn't say that. It's clear. I mean, come on. <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Do we have any Abdul? Hello? Christian Prince, can you hear me? Hey, my friend. Sorry, I could not take your call because I have an ex-Muslim was speaking to me. Okay, just let me let me do something. Wait. 
How are you, my friend? I'm all right. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed uh, the debate between you and that imam from Nigeria. Okay. Uh, you, you really destroyed him completely. <laughs> I did, not even, really, uh, I did really... not even. I was. I was. I didn't really speak much because I can't even hear what he's saying. I was. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to make something out of what he. I understand. And the, and the gentleman who is trying to communicate between us, he keep silence. He does not giving me what he's saying. I keep saying to him, "What he is saying? Tell me what he's saying." What a joke! Uh, <laughs> we we didn't understand him really good. But the only thing that I could say is, uh, this guy. Uh, he, he had no clue what he's talking about. You asked him to show you from the Quran where um, Jibril is saying, Salamu alaykum ya Muhammad. But it's not, he can't find it, not in the Quran and not in the Hadith, right? Yeah, that's what they say. Then he's, and no, the funny, look what he said. He said, show me where, it's a, where, where it says he did not say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the most <laughs> funny answer ever. You know? <laughs> Show me where it says it didn't say that. You know, show me. I mean, what are you talking about? You show me if he said salam alaikum, it means going to put it in your book. Show me. And yeah, then after squeezing himself left and right, he come with the conclusion, okay, let's read the chapter 96. We go there, we don't find it. <laughs> and no. The funny thing is, uh, Muhammad, he didn't know that it was Jibril. So he had to go to his wife, Khadija, and she had to do a striptease right she she had to do a striptease so she took off her clothes no the striptease is before <laughs> the striptease the striptease have nothing to do with the uh, with, with the cave story the striptease according to the story that when muhammad he sees someone in the corner of the room but he do not know who is this guy and this guy is not talking to him which is a very funny story i mean why in the in the world this angel he come and he said they're like an idiot you know i mean <laughs> you have nothing to do i mean why you are sitting there watching me i mean like Obviously, Muhammad is a crazy man. So the story says that an angel he come, but Muhammad was not sure if it's an angel or not. And he sit in the corner of the room and he told his wife that there's an angel come and say there's someone. He didn't say an angel. Someone he come. And uh, Khadija, she said to him, when your friend come over next time, she said, Sahibuka, which means your companion. When your companion yeah. come to you next time, let me know. So he came and he told her, I see him now. So she said to him, okay, sit in the top of my right leg. Do you see him? <laughs> He said, yeah. yes, sit in the left leg. Do you see him? Yes, sit in the top of me. Do you see him? Yes, she took off her clothes. Do you see him? He, he, he said, no, she said the glory to Allah is not an, this is an angel. <laughs> yeah, but which angels we don't know. So he had to go to Waraka ibn Nofal and Waraka ibn Nofal is a Nasrani. Yeah, and he's the guy who said, yeah, this must be Jibril. And he, he basically didn't even say Jibril. He said, this is your Namus. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't even name him Jibril yeah. according to their books. Yeah. Madness, my friend, what we can say. Uh, uh, Actually, sometimes, to be honest with you, sometimes I see someone in the corner of the room. And I was wondering, what is that? But I don't have Khadija. <laughs> you know, the problem. And then I, I could not, uh, I don't have Khadija in my house. So I took a snapshot, I took a picture of it, and then I posted it on the internet, and they told me this is a cockroach. <laughs> He was you know about the cockroach, uh, Christian Prince. Uh, I'm sitting on Potok, uh, so people are listening to what we say right now. And I'm asking uh, some Muslims in the room, and they are listening with us right now. They are hearing what we are saying. Mm -hmm. And I asked them, hey, the cockroaches, they are attacking Kaaba. Why is Allah silent, man? Why is Allah not doing anything? You know what this guy, this Muslim says? Mm -hmm. He says, yeah, uh, Allah is testing people. I said, wait a second, this has nothing to do with testing because Allah in chapter 105, he promised that he will send his bird army to protect the Kaaba. And the Kaaba has been destroyed many times over, right? Uh, yeah, the Karamita, uh, the leader of the Karamita, he went on top of the Kaaba and he pissed on the Kaaba and he screamed loudly, Allah, where are you? Why are you not destroying me for doing this? And he broke the black stones in pieces and he stole it for 22 years. Where's Allah, man? <clears throat> Allah is dead. Muhammad actually he said that there is a testing for prophets and what was lies. You know? Yeah. The lies is the testing of prophets in Islam. So Muhammad he says that Allah he tests us prophets by lies. And obviously, why he's saying that? Because Muhammad was full of lies. And but I believe they are holy lies. You know, I mean they will not be the normal lies, they will be special lies sent by Allah to test Muhammad. 
by a second his blood. Yeah, no, wasn't it um, um, Salama who used to pick uh, lice from his uh, hair because he was full uh, with lice in his hair? Wasn't uh, um, there, Salama? There's many, there's many, there's many stories, but there's a woman, her name, Umm Haram. Yeah. Uh, which means the, uh, the the mother of uh, Haram, which is forbidden, which is very weird. Unbelievable what the dirty prophet is. Uh, and he used, uh, uh, he, he used, uh, as you see in the hadith here, Yahya related to me from Malik, from Isa, etc. Abi Talha, he said that Allah Messenger, may Allah bless him, blah, 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 blah. He visited Umm Haram, bin to etc. And, and she fed him, and uh, she was the wife of Abayda. One day the messenger of may Allah bless him, grant him peace, called her and she had fed him and sat down and they lost his hair. Uh, by the way, here it says you fell, which means taking lies from his head. What did loss mean? I don't know what this word means. <laughs> Do you know what the 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 loss? The loss? The lose? What does that mean? Do you see the screen? Uh, yeah, let me check. Yeah, the lice. Lice is, uh, is uh, you know, insect which okay. lives in your So hair. she is taking, so the, the translation correct then. Okay, so she is yeah. taking the, the, the lice from his head. Yeah. And uh, obviously his head was a very wonderful head. And Allah is, if Allah could not protect the head of Muhammad from the lice, I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, Allah did not protect the head of Muhammad. So how can he protect the Kaaba, man? Yeah, I mean, come on, bro. There's a Muslim trying to call me, so I, I will I will let oh, you go, my friend. Sorry. sorry for that. All right, take take care. I enjoyed the debate. Uh, I was really laughing. <laughs> uh, thank you for calling me back. My thank friend. you, my friend. Take care. I respect you and uh, God bless. Take care. Bye bye. All right, we have a Muslim trying to call. Look like it. You know, when you see somebody speaking to me, my friend, don't call because simply I cannot take two calls in the same time. Have patient. <coughs> Here we go, Abdul. Call, I'm calling you. Yes, Hassan, what do you want? Hello. Hello. I'm fine. What do you think, Hassan, about the hadith saying that the prophet is think? Are you there? Hello. Hello. When your prophet he passed away, the prophet was not buried. As long as you speak English, you speak Arabic and English, that's wonderful. Guys, okay, stop calling me, otherwise I will block you. Don't call me. I am live on air. What's wrong with people? My friend, read with me. Do you see the screen? Wait, wait, just a second. What's wrong? I'm going to stay away for 10th century. Just, just the connection is uh, so slow. Mm. I will read for you until the connection come. So this is when your prophet he die. When your prophet he die. Okay. Yes. It says here in front of us in this hadith. ولما دخل عليه العباس عمه حين مات ومكث ثلاثة أيام قبل أن يدفن وكان واضعا يده على إنفه وقال له عجلوا بدفن صاحبكم والله إنه ليأسن كما يأسن البشر. Translate. Okay, what's uh, your translate? Translate. Then we will see what. What's it? Translate. Translate. I don't think but make your point. The my friend, my friend, don't you see always you call me, you say make your point. Translate first. We want to be sure that I am not giving false information. You speak Arabic and you are Moroccan. And the, the hadith in front of you in Arabic, read, read for us and translate. Translate. Does it say there? Does it say that Al Abbas, the uncle of Muhammad, he entered and he found and when Muhammad he was dead for three days. And he had his hand over his nose and he said. Bury your friend, which means Muhammad. I swear by Allah, he stink as all human beings they stink, which means when, when they die. Does it say that? Yes. yes okay. Because he, uh, huh? Yes, because, he, uh, because what? 
because he is a human okay but isn't it your prophet he said that the that the the body of a prophets will not be uh decayed the earth will not consume it how he stink and you agree that the hadith is sahih and because he's a human and I agree with you okay but how he say in different hadith that uh, uh, Allah told him that the body of the Prophet will not decay what some scholars say this hadith is weak which one is weak which, which one is weak which one does he see the one which what? Uh, this the second hadith where he say that uh, the body cannot cause you. Is it is it is it weak? Who said to you it's weak? Here you go. It says sahih. You want me to get you busted? Here we go. Guys, does it say sahih? Does it say sahih? It is sahih. So you are lying again. Okay. Um, first corner, uh, uh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, just, just just go, man. That's good. Some scar. So the week did not work, so we say it is some scars. Okay, it's weak. I mean, what we can do? It's weak when they want. It is strong when they want. Obviously, Muhammad here is a liar. You agree that the prophet he stink, and this is a total contradiction. This is why when he died, they did not bury him for three days. Three days did not bury him. And you will see here they are saying that this hadith is sah, is sahih, you know. Hello. Hello. Hey CP, how are you? I'm fine, my friend. Yeah, very cool. Uh, the guy that called you before, he's calling you all the time, isn't he? Yeah, this is the same Moroccan guy. Yeah, but he is the same guy who speaks from his nose, but he say nothing. Anytime you get him busted, he's a uh, good and get here. We go to Mikatir, he says, Go to Atabari. We go to Atabari. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, I seen that yesterday. I've seen that all the time. We, you were talking to him, not like once or two or three times. You talk to him all the time, and he's always calling you. I mean, when is the time he's going to accept it? What, what, what the truth is, you know. Well, anyway, you know, it's, it's uh, he accept or don't. Obviously, he knew that he, he see. I'm sure he see. But it's not easy, my friend. This guy, he live in Morocco. If he leave Islam, that would be a big problem for him. And he don't want to believe that he is being a fool by following a foolish false prophet. How the hadith here, and the funny here, it says in the front of us, that this hadith is accepted, it's good. You know? And that hadith is accepted. So how how uh, how you say to me that the body of, of a prophet will not be decay and the guy he stink? You know, obviously Muhammad is a liar. This is why they did not bury him for three days. Three days. But why three again? Always three. Uh, three yeah, maybe they, they are hoping that he will come back the same as Jesus from, from the tomb, you know? Go get it. Go get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no. All right. Thank uh, you very much for calling because some people are trying to call me. Okay. All right. Yeah, call. yeah. No problem. All right. Thank yeah. you. Mari ikut Yesus Mari ke jalan yang benar Tuhan berkati